Hi, this is Jaya. In this video, we shall see the summary of The Discovery, a one-act play by Herman Old. Herman Old was an English author, dramatist, poet and critic and he is very famous for his play in which he dramatized Christopher Columbus discovery and San Diego Junis Theatre has produced one act children's play The Princess in the Sleeping Wood in 1953 so he is famous for all this and uh, we all know about Christopher Columbus who was born somewhere between 25th August and 31st October in 1451 and he died on 20th May 1506 Christopher Columbus was an Italian explorer and navigator. Navigator means a person who travels uh, in the sea is known as a navigator. And he has completed almost four voyages across the At Atlantic Ocean. And uh, he has opened the way for European exploration and colonization of America. And uh, his expeditions were sponsored by the kings of Spain who belonged to the Catholic uh, religion and he was the first European who contacted with the Caribbean, with the Central America and South America. And the main characters in this uh, play are Christopher Columbus, Diego, Juan who are uh, sailors uh, in the ship, Pedro who is an officer, Pepe who is a page boy, page boy means a person who cleans the ship and Francisco who is also another sailor and uh, this whole play actually uh, is about the last night before Christopher Columbus could uh, discover America. Actually, he had started uh, his uh, sea route uh, because he wanted to find a sea route to India. So, he started this uh, exploration uh, about two months back and uh, it took two months for him to discover land because they were sailing in the sea and they thought they are not going to find any land at all. And uh, here if we see that Herman uh, talks about um, Columbus as a person who had a lot of knowledge about expedition and voyages and uh, he knew so very well about how to travel in the sea. So he actually uh, hero worships uh, Columbus in this play. But uh, in the beginning of the play we find in the beginning of the play we find the crew that is the crew means all the people who are in the ship are all restless because they are travelling for uh, two months and they are not able to see any land at all and they have a doubt now whether they will be able to even find the land and uh, so they want to go back and uh, they all uh, talk about how authoritative Columbus is because he is a person who says uh, orders around um, and only expects people to listen and uh, from they speak we find that uh, Columbus has no sympathy for any of those people and so they are planning to have a mutiny. Mutiny means they want to uh, go against them and voice their opinion uh, and uh, oppose and show their opposition. But uh, destiny, however, decides that Columbus must be a great hero and bring a lot of uh, crown to his efforts by discovering a land which was not at all colonized by anyone earlier. Uh, and uh, we find that in this play Columbus as a very authoritative and a strict disciplinarian and uh, he is also shown as a person who loves adventure and who loves to take risk by nature and in this play they show both Columbus's weakness and uh, uh, strength and uh, they also show him as a great explorer and the whole play is a one act play and it is uh, set in a ship called Santa Maria first we see Diego and John who are sailors and they are on the deck and they are talking uh, about Columbus and Diego says that Columbus is very authoritative and he has no mercy for them and Juan though he does not talk so much like Diego he agrees to what Diego says and from what they say we understand that all the sailors want to go home but Columbus has not agreed he wants to continue the journey until they find a land at that time Pedro who is an officer he comes there and he sees these two people and he talks with them and Diego expresses his anger and says that they are all very angry and they are not happy with this journey. At that time Columbus enters and he sends uh, Diego and John away and he talks with uh, Pedro alone. That time we see Pepe who is a page boy. He is nearby and he listens to what uh, Columbus and Pedro are talking 
and uh, Pedro tells uh, Columbus that all the sailors are very angry and he tells that they are all very simple people and they do not know about all this adventure and uh, uh, discovering a land or colonizing a land and so they all want to return home and they are saying it is more than two months since they have uh, started their journey yet they are not able to see any land so they all feel that it is useless continuing the journey in fact they have a fear that the ship might get lost in, and that will make them to uh, they that will put them in a situation where they can never return back to their family and um, pedro has a belief that nature will not allow human beings to know everything about her nature will always keep something away from human knowledge but columbus says no i will not agree with you because he feels that this voyage is god's will god only has uh, made him to think that he can discover a land and he feels that god is the one who is leading him towards a particular direction to show him a land and he believes that god's will will bring him success so he orders pedro to make the sailors all keep quiet and at that time they hear the sailors all singing so he says go and ask the sailors to stop singing and ask them to work up and once pedro leaves pepe, pepe comes there and when pepe comes there columbus sees him and he praises pepe for his work because he keeps the ship very clean up at that time pedro returns but the sailors are still uh, singing and uh, along with them another sailor called francisco he comes there and he has a heated argument with columbus he says that they all want to return back home and he says that columbus is mad and authoritative and is being very cruel to the sailors and uh, columbus says that when they came they all agreed that they will follow the orders and they will obey him but francisco says that now they have lost their patience so they are not in a mood to listen to him at that time what happens is we hear that the sinking turns into a roar and many sailors they come upon the quarter where they are standing the deck and they all demand that the ship must go back to spain but columbus does not move now the sailors all threaten him they say that they will attack him and they will turn the ship and go back to spain but columbus does not get afraid of them he stands there and shows them who is the uh, boss who is uh, what all the authority and some of the sailors they try to climb up but pepe comes and stands before columbus and protects him up and this makes columbus very emotional and he talks uh, he gives a speech to the sailors and he tells them how human beings have existed so long he says that in this world everything is temporary only man is permanent and his dreams are the ones which are living now that is what his ancestors dreamt that happened and that life only these people are living living so if this people are going to go towards their dream and if they achieve the future generation will live that dream so everyone have to strive towards their dream they just cannot live with what was already given to them and when the sailors hear these uh, words they feel guilty and they go back and continue their work at that time columbus tells pedro that two minutes ago when he was giving the speech he saw something and he continues to look in the same direction and points out there and suddenly they see light if light is there means definitely land is there now seeing this the whole ship is filled with joy and they shout and they celebrate and the play ends with columbus giving them orders to go up and here in this play we say we this play is portrayed in such a way that columbus is a man of discovery and apart from discovering new land he has also come to know many other things first thing he says that no man should depend on one's vision not on the support of others that is we should have our own vision and we should follow it god will tell you what you have to do and you have to follow it and you will be successful and you should not live by the others ideas and second thing is we find that loyalty is only temporary like a seaweed first they may be disciplined but soon it will burst like balloon only faith will remain in oneself for long and uh, the na- daring nature of columbus survives till the end we don't find him uh, hesitating any moment or getting afraid of anything or thinking twice he completely believes in god and he completely devotes himself to his vision and finally also we find him attributing his success as blessings of god so the play ends here it's a beautiful and a very successful play of herman 
if you have anything more to uh, contribute to what i have said please write it in the comment box like the video share it with your friends and if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe thank you